Hey, I'm Dave Brzezowski, the racing manager for Willwood Disc Brakes, and today we're going to talk about a traditional brake balance bar installation and setup. So when I say traditional, this system's been around for really the, the start of time when two master cylinders became very uh, prominent in uh, racing. Basically it has a mono ball in the system in the center of the beam that by moving the balance bar would move this ball across, which would then offset the loads to put more or less, depending on where it was positioned, um, leverage wise to control your balance. These things, like I said, have been around forever, but they also can be very finicky and the majority of times installation is done incorrectly. So I'm gonna show you how easy and quickly it can be done. First and foremost, our balance bars come from the factory as close as we can be to preset, but in shipping, these clevises are just on there floating, they can move around. So in our instructions, it gives you a dimension that tells you how to set what I'm gonna call the side to side play. And this is critical in a balance bar. If this is not set correctly and it's too tight, what happens is when you go to push it, one will try to go, this one binds up and you have no balance. So it'll end up just being, you can move this all day and it would always stay the same. So setting this free play is critical. The easiest way to do this is really two quarters. It ends up being like an eighth of an inch. Slide the bar all the way to one side, drop these between the washer and the clevis, and ensure you have the minimum of that. Just a shade over is okay, but usually that, that dimension is really what you want. Two quarters, eighth of an inch, easy to do. The next thing is, just really have no idea where this thing is internally on its balance when you put it together. It's five inches long, the rod, so really the best thing to do is measure from one end to the other, two and a half inches to the center. That's gonna put the ball in, in, right in the middle of the beam, which theoretically is gonna put you at 50-50 on the balance, and you can adjust from there. Um, if you're using a cable, you can attach it to either end, and that will determine the direction of your knob. So it can go from left or right. It's all preference and, um, and how it fits in your particular environment. All the pedals come with either one or two of these nuts. Now these will come on the bar like so. The only time these get used is if you have a position um, that you cannot run a cable um, for placement by rules, that you can set your balance, go in there, lock this nut down. And that will basically secure your balance wherever you have it. That's really what that's for, it's a lock nut. These also are used when you put the cable on initially to go in there, hold it, run your cable on with a half inch wrench and a 9 16 and tighten the cable down to the balance bar and then remove the locking device. So it's always handy. If you don't, if you don't use a cable, you have to lock this down or it will vibrate and move. If you use a cable, keep this in your toolbox with your tools so you have to service it. Um, you'll, you'll need this. Another thing I wanted to talk about is on our monoball system is there's also on the clevis that we supply, there's a little detent that's adjustable. And you'll notice on this bar, it has a slot in there. So basically you can adjust the tension and this thing will snap into place. This is not necessary when you're running an adjuster cable. Uh, the biggest reason is these have a detent already built into them. You put that on there, it just compounds the pressure on it. The cable will wind up and become ineffective. So this is another option as opposed to locking it down with the supplied jet nut. You can use the detent, apply enough pressure to it to where you can make an adjustment, but through the course of running, it will keep the balance bar from moving left to right. In most cases though, with the cable, this is removed as well. 
Again, I hope this uh, video is helpful in uh, setting up a traditional balance bar. And again, if there's ever any questions in regards to any of our racing or equipment in general, we have people that are very experienced and dedicated to your given uh, marketplace. And I hope to see you guys at a racetrack soon.